Hey folks, before the episode gets started, I just want to let you know that with this particular episode, I had a lot of editing problems, and unfortunately I didn't save my state, so the episode's going to be as it is. I do apologize if it's not as high quality, or if you do see numbers in the in corners, but again, I apologize, and hopefully this won't be present next time I do this. Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, bringing you more Pokemon Platinum on the Nintendo DS. God, I almost said something else. <laughs> anyway, last episode, we powered through mountains, rode our bike, and got here to Hartholm City. If you're wondering why my voice sounds incredibly deep right now, it's because I actually just woke up from a nap. Yeah. Anyway. So, for, we have a few things we need to do here in Hartholm City. Actually, quite a few things. Oddly enough, that place is one of our visits on this list. The first thing we need to do is go into this house next to the Pokemon Center. Hello. Yes, I am. Oh? I'm astonished because it's not Bill. Y your baby. Okay. They ain't perfect at all. You raised the babies, kids. <laughs> well, I'll take it and get off your hands. Ah, so you got it from Bill. I'll be good to it for the full five seconds I have it. No. So, what we need to do is, is while well, I actually came out here to show you, where to get an Eevee if you want an Eevee in this game. It's simple. You just come to the Pokemon Center, or you come to the house next to the Pokemon Center, you drop it off, and then you go in here, and then you deposit in the PC because you're not doing a, a normal mount type challenge, you're doing a fly, fly, uh, fly, no, a fly mount type challenge. But you really need to talk to her just to register that it is baby. That's level 20. That's actually a nice Pokemon. That's, that's a little lower than what all your other Pokemon should be, but then again, that's how everything you catch should be. So that was the main thing we needed to do. No, that was the first thing we needed to do. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the gym. Yep, there's no BS this time, just straight to the gym. I think we ran past it on our way in. I bet I've missed it by a mile at this point. Um, Jim? How did I misplace a building? It's not in here, is it? I know, I know Jim's just, okay. This is a church. I haven't actually never been here. Let's talk to people. So, we're just looking at a picture of Mount Mortar. Okay. You people are all insane. This is my church. Oh, man. So... Oh, that is the Pal Park. This is basically what initiated the action to have uh, Pokemon uh, walk around and follow you in the last game around here should be something. Ah, uh, big mushroom. You can actually sell these big mushrooms to a certain person and they'll trade you items for big mushrooms. Seriously, I misplaced a building. Oh, there it is. Hey, champion making guy. It's all good. I'm sorry. She's not here. Okay, where is she? Ugh, she's at the contest. I'll have to go get her. It's so she's fascinated by dressing up Pokemon. I'm not so surprised. Oh, don't oh, damn. Huh? I don't know you. 
why is Bob here? Wow. Uh. I don't remember her. <laughs> oh right, I saved her Baneri. Um, I I'm never going to be competing in a competition. I will never do these. They... <sighs> these have been available in every Pokemon game since this one. Well, no, since Diamond and Pearl, because this one came afterwards, but still. How did you get out here? You don't have Pokemon. You don't have plane tickets. You don't have any cars. There are no roads. There are no modes of transportation. How did you get out here without dying? No. I'm not here for the comp. And we get a tuxedo. She just happens to have the money around to buy us tuxedo. Lady, tuxedos are expensive, and Poke Coins, it's like 30, 30 grand in Poke Coin. You got 30 Poke Coin? I don't think you got 30 Poke Coin. Now go make me some goddamn pancakes. Oh, she's actually going to make me some goddamn pancakes. Anyway, the reason we're here is not to participate in the competition, not by a long shot. It's actually. Talk to this lady. Yeah. Oh god, she's French too. So yes, this is Fantina, the, the gym leader. So now that we did that, she will actually go back to the gym and wait there, where she should be. So, now, for this particular gym, excuse me, uh, I got something else. Hey, buddy! Just some kid, yeah. So, the gimmick with this gym is you're playing flashlight tag. And, just because it's this generation, I have to explain what a flashlight tag is. Basically, um, when one person shines a light on another person, they're it. It's simple as that. It's usually played in the dark, as you can tell. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna leave Bruno. Well, I forget what Bruno's moveset is. San okay. I'll leave him out front for the timing, just because he has that faint attack. Switch these around. But after Bruno hits 26, then I'm really going to give Y a run for his money. Or why? So, with that being said, we have flashlights. Now this part isn't too dark, but you can still see your flashlight beam. It comes out of your crotch. As soon as you touch somebody with the light, no matter if they're facing you or not, it comes a battle. So let's see if I can get you some nice spooky music for this episode, viewers. Yeah, shine lasers. Anyway, 
how this, but how this gym works other than, be, other than it being flashlight tag, is what you need to do in order to progress to the next room is match up the blue tile with the door with the door that ha with the door that corresponds to that blue tile. In this case, well, okay, if you can't see what door we need to go through, I'm gonna have to slap you. I'm sorry, I'm abusive to my viewers. What can I say? Hey! God damn it, I'm a retard sometimes. Anyway, Y is now on the forefront and probably will be here for the rest of the gym. So yes, go in this door. Success! As we go, the rooms are going to get slightly darker. Like, I can still see the blue tile. So if I wanted to be done with this room right away, I would go to... The door on the far right up, up there. But since I'm not trying to beat this right away and fight everyone, let's fight. All right, that wasn't too bad. Since I gotta go around to everyone and do this, um, I suppose, just because I'm bad at remembering to explain things when it happens, uh, ghost type Pokemon, seeing as I'm not gonna have any on my team, and I should probably explain how they work, uh, how ghost type Pokemon works is basically, <laughs> sorry, they cannot be dealt damage by, by uh, normal or fighting type attacks. But they are weak to both dark and go well, they're weak to both dark and ghost types. Unfortunately, they are, they are just take normal damage from psychic attacks, if I remember right. Anyway, you fight me. So yeah, also as you could probably tell with a lot of these battles, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, Drift Loons I'm fighting have, a, uh, have their special ability as, uh, what was that called? Use one of these here. Uh, uh, the special ability called Aftermath, which basically kind of works a bit like Dusting it. Which is like a not instant kill destiny knot for those of you that know that move. Well, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. I can. Uh, Destiny Knot and Aftermath. Basically, once a po ghost Pokemon dies, if it's Destiny Knot, it will try to take the Pokemon down to the grave. If it's Aftermath, it will just do uh, about 20 damage or so. I, th I think percentage is based upon the, the Pokemon's health that you that you killed. Anyway, hey, are you a friend? Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. You, good sir, are a freaking moron. 
You killed your own Pokemon to try and stop me. Anyway, next room ho! Oh, gym leader. This is only two rooms. Well then, I'm actually gonna, um, if you ever want to leave the gym, just go down. You'll go right back to the start. So, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually gonna, well, I'll take you along for the ride and take you to the Pokemon Center while I explain that move that killed his own Pokemon. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Anyway, uh, what he used there was Curse. It's, it's a move that is actually different based on what Pokemon has it. Uh, for example, I know Grottle, the evolved form of Turtwig, can learn Curse. And what it does is that the cost of lowering your speed increases your, your attack and defense. That's for Pokemon that aren't ghost types. For ghost types, you cut the, the Pokemon will cut its own health in half in order to lay a, a, uh, a curse on you that goes away at the end, uh, goes away, or a curse on you, which is like poison, uh, poison that goes away at the end of a battle or when you switch out your Pokemon. But it does a lot, but being that it goes away so easily, it does a lot more damage. And I think the emulator kind of balls this up, because this room is supposed to, it, well, just so you know, you can't fight anyone again. So it doesn't reset. Anyway. Anyway, it kind of balls this up, because I think it's supposed to be a lot darker in the second room. Like, it's supposed to be actually pitch black where you need to use your flashlight. Uh, heart. But it's kind of balls up here on the emulator. So if you're playing the actual of uh, actual copy of the game, it's gonna be a lot darker. Anyway. Fantina. I didn't save. Wait. Uh no I won't. She's never good. God damn Uh, yes, I will challenge you. Scootsutter versus Fontina. A drama mama, if you will. Dusko! Hey, buddy! I remember you from- I remember you from- <laughs> from my Dark Mario type challenge. And how much I hated you. Die! Yes, you flinch! So Fantina here, she's gonna have a Dusko, a I don't remember if it's Drift Bloon or Drift Blim, it's probably Drift Bloon, and her strongest Pokemon, Miss Magius. Miss Magius being the evolved form of Miss Dreamus. And it is no pushover. It might go fa yep, it's gonna go fa oh. oh! Oh, you are so dead. Oh, I am... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no, that cannot go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do you like it? Now, if you excuse me, I need to potion up. Well, I don't. Well, the reason why I don't want Y dying is because happy uh, happiness, which is I need Y to have a lot of happiness in order to evolve into his next form. But if he's not happy, ow! Oh shoot! If he's not happy when I go to try and evolve him, ah, oh, goddamn, that might kill him. If a Pokemon dies, he loses happiness. Like that. Alright. Hopefully I have a revive. I'm just setting out the meat shield. I have one revive. I don't know if that's going to affect this, his happiness, unfortunately. Oh sure, now you hurt yourself in your confusion. Uh, there we go. 
have confusion? Yes, thank you. Oh, jeez. Drop you doof like a pile of bricks. Oh, you son of a gun. Don't hurt yourself. Thank you. Now we're both confused, we're both screwed. How do you like it? How do you like me now? Now you hurt yourself. And I'm gonna bite you. Right? I'm gonna bite her. Well, it, it technically is a herb. Pokemon don't have gender, so... Oh, you would have a citrus berry. Oh, crap. Alright. Why? Now is your time to shine. Shine brightly! Yes! Shine brighter than, than all the heavens! Giga Thrill Breaker! Okay, I need I need to stop quoting Gurren Lagann. I've been on it for like five days now. Ooh, air cutter! Forget to move! Well, let's see, air cutter is special at 55. Wing attack is physical at 60, but air but air cutter hit, air cutter hits both enemies. So let's stick with wing attack actually. Give up an air cutter. And haunter. Oh, I thought she had a drift look or a drift loon. Seeing as her dress is designed like one, the little axe gives it away. Anyway. I bite you, good sir. Oh, oh, you are so funny. Never give up, never surrender. Astonish. And you use the super potion. Well, that's fine. That, on the other hand, is not fine. Double fine? Ow. Ow. Quick, retreat to the bag! Good thing Shadow Claw doesn't build up with time. You! Stop what you're doing, you're pissing me off. Oh, hell no. You know what? I'm using that awakening. Screw you. Awakening. Awakening, get out of the sleep status ailment. Oh, I haven't explained the sleep status ailment, but I don't think I have. Uh, sleep status ailment basically will do... will basically cause your Pokemon to not attack for uh, two to five turns. And at the end of all those tur at well, the end of all those turns, uh, uh, your Pokemon basically wake up after a set amount of time. But so there are a lot of moves that can be detrimental to your Pokemon, so I did not want that on me. Regardless, hooray! I defeated a beauty pageant queen. Yes, my Pokemon so strong. I revive so strong. And we get the Relic Badge from Fantina. And let's just use Defog. I don't plan on ever teaching anyone Defog. And that's actually the TM for Shadow Ball, if I remember right. Oh, Sh Shadow Claw, excuse me. Yep, uh, Shadow Claw has a high critical rate, so it's nice, but it's a physical move, so you don't want to put it on a Haunter or a Ghastly or anything like that. Anyway, now with that done, we can leave the gym. And I'm going to go heal up, but, it, but this is how I usually end off an episode anyway, guys. So, 
next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, the Flying Monotype Challenge. We're going to head forward into uncharted territory. I shall see you then.